two. Here at Lake Pleasant, Arizona. It's the first time I've been here. Decided to rent a sailboat. Yeah. Some nice boats. Sailing around for a little while. Um, the wind's a little bit finicky, but there's some pretty strong gusts. This boat's not too hard to handle though. Uh, got a reef in the main. I'm gonna go unfurl the headsail. The wind died down a lot. There are a bunch of these like sticks, like floating sticks, trash. Kind of weird. I keep thinking the rocks, but it's like a hundred feet deep right here. So the cactuses are pretty cool. <laughs> So here on the uh, Catalina Capri 22, and uh, I rented it here in Lake Pleasant, Arizona from Go Sail, Arizona. They also have a sailing school in San Diego, 
they teach the ASA classes and I would highly recommend them so far. The boat's nice, everything's well maintained and show you around the boat a little bit and get an idea. Here's the V-Berth on the Capri 22. A lot of space, I might add. There's definitely could fit four people comfortably. Six people, no problem if there's some smaller people. In the V-Berth, you have this table. Looks like there's some compartments under here as well, but I mean, these are day sailing rentals. If you guys had a bunch of stuff, there's plenty of room. Um, here in the aft cabin, it's all hollowed out pretty much. This is PFD's the usual rental boat. Sure, none of that's hooked up. The gas, it's just a little two and a half horsepower. Yamaha four stroke. And uh, yeah, that's down below. Go above, check out the sails and the rigging. All right, kind of just hove to here. You can see, I don't know if you can see the little eddy it's making there. Pretty cool, little swirls. Um, yeah, so I have the tiller lash, little motor, it's awesome. Plenty for this boat. Um, traveler, <laughs> kind of hits you in the knees a lot, but works really well uh, you can tell the boats get used a lot but they're also pretty well maintained there's a reef here it was perfect for this morning when the winds were a little bit more brisk um, everything's really easy to trim and the furling head sail here pretty much everything's run back to the cabin it's super simple their furling setup and then the main halyard here is on this winch it's really nice really easy especially by myself i had no problem with it and then all these winches are self-tailing um winch plenty of room there's these uh storage lockers as well come up front here Boom bang. I have that forward hatch open. Yep. Halyard set up here. Pretty neat. So that was cold. Pretty much all done for the day. Gonna kick on the motor, head back.